and welcome back to everybody. We are now on our final session for this Connected Packaging Summit. It's been a fantastic two days. We had so many interesting panelists yesterday and today, but don't worry, we have saved the best to last. We're going to be looking at first, first sustainable packaging with digital transformation at its core. And we've got some fantastic uh, information. We have Adriana, and I'm going to get your last name wrong again, I'm very sure. Um, Adriana Golubovic, Marketing Director from South uh, and New Markets at Elipac. And we will also be joined by Alejandro Martin, who is Sustainable Director at García Carrión uh, by video. Um, so it is a fantastic pleasure to have you with us. Uh, today, Adri, um, maybe you can just start with giving us a little bit of an interesting fact that not many people know about you. Hi, uh, yes, thank you, Jenny. Thank you for this great introduction. No pressure at all. Now there are no expectations, and especially knowing that, uh, considering the the time that we are at right now, I'm probably you and I are now probably the only thing that is between everybody's lunch <laughs> and the, the the morning session. So I will really try to to keep it relevant for everybody and entertaining. And maybe a fun fact about me. Well, it doesn't sound that much fun when I first say it because it's something that uh, is common for so many people. And that is that when I was very young. I wanted to be a rock star. But maybe what's a different from that is that I actually did join for a very brief period of time a small local band in my hometown. Uh, the, 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 the thing turned out to be that uh, now the, the, my, country's, uh, or my country's origin, Serbia's Eurovision representative, came out of that band. So you see, I was close. No I, way! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that might be fun. I did not end up being a, a rock star, which is not so fun fact, uh, but uh, I'm trying to really uh, somehow try and become a rock star with uh, doing some meaningful things and making meaningful choices uh, with the things that I do, trying to find a purpose uh, in the companies I'm working with, uh, with the projects that I'm being involved with. And it's really a pleasure to be part of uh, this launch that you just now announced and uh, yeah. Thank you also to, to the partners that we'll be uh, mentioning today, uh, like uh, Appetite Creator and uh, Garcia Carina. Perfect, thank you. Well, well, what, a, what a great fact. I mean, uh, we, we've got to have more conversations about this. So thank you, <laughs> thank you very much for that. Um, we are joined by um, video um, by uh, Alejandro Martin, who is Sustainability Director at Garcia Carrion. So I think we'll play the video and then we can get snuck in uh, to some more content. Hello, everyone. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks, Andre. I hope you all are enjoying the summit today. I'm sorry, but because of personal reasons, it has not been possible for me to to take part. However, I wanted to leave this short video to share with you our ambition in sustainable and connected packaging. In Garcia Carrion, we strive to be leaders in what we do, how we do it, and why we do it. And since packaging is a key and a strategic element for us, we choose partners instead of packaging suppliers in order to drive innovations and develop the latest and most exclusive solutions. We have an example with this new development with Elopac. The future is now. The first green carton for ambient without aluminum, fully recyclable, carbon neutral, and with the unlocked potential to be fully renewable. All, the all these futures are totally aligned with our Don Simmons environmental targets of zero waste and net zero CO2 emissions. It has been a long journey to achieve this new milestone in sustainable packaging, but we are not in the finish line. We want to push the bar higher, even above the legislation requirements to truly match what the consumer is demanding. The big challenge for the next years to come is to answer simple questions such as what kind of packaging the consumer like the most or which features are considered for the customer as sustainable in packaging. But here is the thing. These questions look simple, but actually are quite complex since we will get different results asking in different countries and asking about different products. So 
since one size does not fit all, we use connected packaging to help us not only better communicate new developments in a simple way, but also get valuable market information from consumers. So as a summary, we can say that the packaging is not just a container anymore. And packaging innovation to get a more recyclable, removable, or low carbon packets will not be that relevant for consumers if we are not able to communicate it in a simple way. Connected packaging allows us to establish a bi-directional and interactive communication channel with the consumers where we can also learn more about them and learn what really matters to them. And through the connected experience, we have the opportunity to make them part of our brand journey of, uh, and of our product experience, transforming passive products into experiential and interactive touch points. We call this learning by playing. This is all from our side. Sorry again for not be part of this event today. And I hope we can meet soon in future events. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye bye. So we heard a little bit uh, from Alejandro in terms of uh, their views on, on, on connected packaging. Of course, we, we know quite a lot about that. But what we did want to hear a little bit more about, I think, to kick us off is um, the, the increase um, in demand for innovative solutions, particularly connected packaging. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, this new initiative. Uh, yeah, sure. So I, I might start by um, asking everybody to think about how many times have you checked your phone uh, since you have woken up this morning? And probably that question would be a wrong one because it's probably that way around. How long have you been without checking your phone? We are really, I mean, for good or for, for worse, um, we are hyper dependent. We have become hyper dependent on uh, the, the connections and the connectivity on the data and the um, Packaging is only the, the connected package is only the natural evolution uh, in our industry to what has already happened in every other spheres of life. Um, it is uh, relevant for us to get the right kind of information at the right time and uh, to get the content that really matters to us. So I'm sometimes uh, joking about myself and I'm saying that I don't even go to a supermarket without my, my maps because uh, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to, to park. And then my Google tells me that, yeah, well, it's a little bit crowded. You should better go this way or that way. Or you're asking your voice assistant what temperature it's going to be. Um, so we are really uh, taking really simple at the, at the first uh, side, very basic decisions based on the information we get. And um, uh, we are willing to give away some of our information in return of something that's going to be beneficial for us. And what's more relevant and more beneficial for all of us as humanity nowadays than the sustainability and the environment. So I'm sitting in Madrid right now. We are already going through the second heat wave this year. It's the 7th of July. So it is not only a common point, um, a speech that everybody's now using because now it's something that we think that from a marketing point of view is going to touch the consumers, to touch the audiences. It is something that all of us are living day by day. And uh, in last year's UN report really warned very strongly about really the, the consequences of not acting now and not acting very, very strongly. So uh, packaging, and I would like also to refer to the previous panelists that, that somebody said that it's not about not using the packaging, it's about using it in the right way. It's about um, uh, not uh, allowing it to become waste and not allowing it to, to have more, to have a negative impact or actually it, its impact is uh, overly positive. We're talking about packaging for food and beverages here. So the, its main purpose is to, uh, protect the food to reduce food waste and that is uh, the active role that packaging has had for many years now but it has to go a step further so it's not only the container it's not only having this uh, um, active role in protecting uh, food but it's also uh, very relevant uh, to work on innovation uh, to work on uh, using the right kind of materials that are going to reduce the impact throughout the entire value chain, not only end of life, not only when it comes to um, 
finishing its uh, uh, life cycle when it comes to recycling or um, disposing it, uh, but it's throughout the entire value chain uh, using the right materials and really working on creating a low carbon circular economy. So this year, together with um, Garcia Carrion, uh, Allopac um, um, is launching uh, PurePak eSense, e stands for uh, more environmentally friendly, uh, our first uh, aseptic uh, beverage carton that is uh, not using the aluminum barrier, which is uh, commonly used in aseptic packages. Uh, it has been used for many, many years uh, because um, it, it really protects well from light, from oxygen, from uh, humidity. Uh, but to, uh, we realized uh, um, uh, many years ago that it's really needed to go and simplify the structures. And this is just another milestone in the roadmap of different developments we have been um, uh, bringing into the market. And every step counts. So when combining all these different elements, we can say that we are um, coming to have uh, a solution that is really having uh, the lowest possible impact at this point in time. This, of course, does not mean that this is where we should stop. But uh, first, the, the, the main task is really to deploy it, to, mm -hmm. uh, under, to, to really be able to communicate the values to the uh, consumers, to make them understand not only what it is, but why it is there, what is its purpose, and how um, overall the planet can benefit from that. And that is what we're going to do together with, uh, with Garcia Carrion and with their brand, Don Simon. And it's also very relevant what kind of brands uh, to use when this kind of innovation is being put into the market. Don Simon is uh, the leading beverage brand in, in Spain and is uh, known not only in Spain, but also in, in other countries. And in, in the bread footprint year after year, uh, they have been voted uh, Top, top average brand. And um, there is this trust that the consumers require that is coming from brands. They, they uh, want to hear from someone, someone they know, they recognize and they believe. And that is why this kind of partnership is, is very uh, relevant. And not only because of the strength of the brand, but also because there needs to be strategic alignment with the, the, the manufacturers, with the, the pillars and uh, with, with our strategy. And that is something that uh, we have recognized many, many years ago. And as I said, this is not the first thing that Alopec and Garcia Carrion have, been, uh, have done together, but it is the first time that it, such big uh, launch is going to be accompanied with connected packaging and uh, really completing, completing the, the offer, completing the, the entire uh, story to the consumers. No, absolutely, and I, and of course I know a little bit about it already. But you know, let's let's tell everyone else. You know, what are the benefits? You're talking about um, an aluminium-free carton. What are the benefits uh, to the consumer for that? Yeah, well, consumers are not going to notice a difference at the first sight. And that's why it's important to use uh, connected packaging and to provide them with more information. The, the benefits are uh, numerous when it comes to the impact in the environment. First, the um, greenhouse gas emissions are reduced significantly because uh, even though, let's say, around 4% of the uh, package structure in an aseptic beverage carton uh, in weight is aluminum, but its emissions are around 30, 40%. So we can see that it's very emissions intensive. Mm. Uh, uh, that, that is why if we can reduce, um, if we can remove it, these emissions are reduced significantly. And also, and Alejandro has mentioned it, uh, by removing aluminum, which is a non-renewable um, material, we unblock the potential of having a fully renewable aseptic package that had been um, feasible for, for uh, uh, packages for chilled products, for fresh, but there were, of course, difficulties for aseptic packages because the distribution uh, requirements are different. Uh, they are, they are long-life products. They do not uh, require fridge for distribution and storage, etc. So um, that, the, the consumers are really uh, as I said in the beginning, really concerned. Everybody is now aware of the impact of uh, the, the global warming, about uh, the pollution, et cetera. So they really, whenever they're asked, whenever there are any surveys, any consumer studies we have uh, seen, they always uh, declare that they would want to do something. They would really uh, be interested in seeing more solutions that are more uh, gentle to the environment, if I, if I may say like, like that. But it's hard for them to understand what they themselves can do. Mm -hmm. um, what can be their uh, role in, in, in the entire story. So we're trying to uh, bring this closer uh, to them by explaining really what it means. I said, um, we, are, we can talk, be talking about a fully renewable package. It's a lighter uh, as well. 
uh, the, the emissions are, are reduced. So the benefits for the environment are, are numerous. But then again, we have to be very um, careful and choose the way how it's being communicated because uh, education is important, but not lecturing, not preaching mm -hmm. because uh, consumers uh, place the responsibility to the industry, to the manufacturers, both of the product, of the brand owners and of the packaging. So they want to be given easy, simple choices uh, and 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 so that they just uh, make very quick decision because we know that now the time that they spend when they're shopping is uh, every time shorter and shorter. So it has to be a pleasant experience and not only before purchase and during purchase, but during consumption and after that. So we really want to strengthen and foster that relationship uh, with the, the consumers that is done through the connected packaging. And uh, that is uh, what is soon going to hit the market. Uh, with the with the brand that I've just uh, mentioned, where all these benefits are going to be explained in a very fun, uh, I dare to say, interactive and bi-directional way, because it's not only uh, throwing information to consumers, but also listening to them, being able to receive their feedback and, and um, adapt to communication real time. And I think that's really key because um, you're quite right. Um, most of the uh, conversations that, that happen are very much one directional. Um, the brand telling you and that kind of being the end of the story from a consumer point of view. And, and Alejandro also mentioned, you know, uh, the, the connected packaging uh, enables a simple way to offer that by um, directional uh, conversation, which is, which is really important. Um, I think maybe even more so when you're trying to launch something new in market, right? Exactly. So um, it, we are not uh, developing packages to have them in <laughs> on shelves in our office and be happy about that. It's really important to, 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 to be able to really communicate very loudly and clearly to the market to really reach adoption points. But this time, I think that I'm really happy that I get a chance to talk about this launch in particular, because it makes me feel good. It's a typical feel good uh, launch, uh, because you, um, you remember in the beginning, I, I was mentioning that I'm always trying to look for something that is meaningful, that's really going to make you feel good. And, and this is really the, the kind of thing um, that, that makes you feel good. So um, when something's new in the market, there can be a lot of information people get, can get confused. So now we're in the industry. Sometimes we are really uh, short-sighted because we, mm, we are used to speaking to the same partners, uh, speaking the same language, we know uh, the relevance of certain amounts of CO2, of uh, what the renewable packaging means, et cetera. But general audiences uh, and studies confirm that do not always know what all these uh, points mean, what they represent. Um, I'm just, I'm saying not always, doesn't mean that the, the, the we are not, I'm not calling our consumers uneducated because they know uh, and every, uh, every time more and more. But I think is that, um, if we can even bring that information closer to them and translate it in the way that's really appealing and relevant for them, uh, then, then it's uh, the, the, the benefit doubles. Definitely, definitely, because you're, you're able to connect with the consumers, but gather that information, right? So do they, do they like this? What did they think about it? Did they know about it? All of those different um, informational points. Tell us a little bit um if you can what the um connected packaging experience will have in it yeah i can just uh, very vaguely mention something i already mentioned that it's going to be an interactive um experience so yeah uh, it's going to be a full experience that's something i want to, to emphasize uh the the consumers are going to be able to scan codes on on the packages um and uh, each code is going to open up a whole new experience for them there and there are going to be different levels different layers of, of the experience uh, they're going to be able uh, to to play so there is um, um, the gamification being used uh, to really uh, help them uh, get immersed into the entire story and explain um, uh, so it's not only fun but it's fun and learning all together so there's going to be game they're going to be motivated with some um, maybe information they get maybe some um, prizes, maybe, I don't know, the different, different things. Um, also, there, there is going to be uh, a part where they are going to be uh, also asked. So there's this uh, interactive uh, part where they're going to be able um, to express their opinions, their concerns. Uh, and also there's going to be a part where they can um, 
they can learn more and it's going to be maybe more straightforward educational uh, but all, all of that put in a very uh, interesting uh, way um, and uh, the brand themselves uh, are also going to take a series of uh, um, initiatives to communicate further uh, also in, in their in their channels so to make it a part of their overall campaign and and then they've got the ability to include uh um sharing perhaps so they can talk to their audience but exactly. also talk to new audience exactly yeah so it's um uh, they're in a way going to become the brand's ambassador so the first uh milestone the first goal is for them to really buy into the entire idea and to see why it's good for them why it's good for uh the environment um and um really what we're trying to do with the the uh, when we are developing content and the brand is developing the content is uh, um really um to make it to make it to make it appealing and to make it um um just a second something's moving here <laughs> yeah so uh when uh when um they when when they're learning about it so that they feel that it's something uh, that they identify with and uh, that they really um they really feel that it represents them they click they connect in the right way and then in an in automatically that they wish to share that information with others with their friends it's a typical word of mouth yeah. um uh, syndrome if i can say word of mouth uh, methodology so uh, you see there's a, you you go to a good restaurant and you want to tell your friends about it and keep it away from some those people that you don't like so we really want to people to be able to uh, to really identify with the the benefits of this launch uh, and then uh, share and get a reward for that because uh, we're creating a family together with a brand mm -hmm. it's, it's it's a really great way to be able to educate and I think we've heard from lots of other panelists today you know the fact that this is a, a channel of communication um we, we're talking actually about a uh world first in terms of the packaging itself and then using that packaging to be that communication channel to be able to deliver the information um it's 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 really interesting and of course that product is is going to be uh in people's homes i mean this is this is don Juan. so this is cartons of juice it's going to be in people's homes for for a few days a few weeks exactly so it's some it's uh, their everyday companion um and um it's just um, important to see that uh, important to show that by everyday actions you're also doing your part mm -hmm. so i think that uh, it's uh, important that through this experience the brand can show their entire um a journey because this is not the first thing that the brand has done to to be more sustainable it, it is a part of a long-term uh development strategy long-term sustainability strategy and uh, also uh, we take pride in saying that uh, some of those initiatives had already been done also with allopac so for example some years ago they launched a, a natural brown board so it is a a natural carton that is unbleached, so also less intensive in CO2. Then they uh, have started using carbon uh, neutral uh, packages with, uh, where all the, the remaining emissions uh, are being compensated. And uh, now this is a, another step, another milestone. So the thing is to say, OK, this is we, we are doing our bit. We're making small steps towards a big goal. Now I'm there to say that this uh, is probably the strongest innovation we're bringing because technologically, technically, it's really it, it hasn't been easy to develop, uh, so it's uh, really a big change. It's going to create a big, uh, big shift. But it also uh, serves as a as means of saying, and this is no not where we stop. We hear you, we listen to you, we try to bring closer to you consumers uh, what we have done, why we have done it, and also listening and, and trying to understand what we can do next. Uh, and uh, you know, the, there's also this. Um, channel communication between the manufacturer, between the, the brand and us, the, the packaging um, uh, suppliers, who are uh, the packaging solution suppliers, uh, who are also then uh, bringing in uh, that input into our development plans, into, into our future future innovation. And um, of course, it's, uh, it's relevant to also uh, share some, we also need some previous panels um, and there was a question to remember in which part exactly somebody was saying whose responsibility it is. Mm. So surveys say that um, uh, consumers place the responsibility to manufacturers, to the brand owners, to the industry altogether. Uh, but 
it's important to, to again, I'm talking about this by the directionality. So it's uh, um, everybody, what everybody does matters. So that is why it's important that the consumers uh, choose the right package, that they consume in a responsible way, that they dispose of it where it's supposed to be disposed of. So in the, the there are different streams in different countries, different regions, so that they make sure that it gets collected and recycled um, and, and so on. And we, uh, our responsibility is to make that task easier for them. That is why they need the right kind of information at the right, uh, at the right time. And uh, it's really key to do it with such products like Don't Smoke products that as I mentioned before, are, they, are their uh, consumers every day's companions. Because you can see that by small steps in your everyday life, you're contributing to something bigger. Yes, yes. And, and you know, we heard in the previous session around being changing the, the packaging. I don't know if you saw it, was there a, the corona uh, yeah, case? Yeah. Um, and again, there was a, a, a big increase in people wanting something that was going to be more sustainable. And therefore, here is the solution. And, and again, here we're talking about something that is you know, but uh, probably more consumed more than uh, beer. Probably you consume juice more often than you consume uh, beer as, 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 as a standard consumer. I'm not Which sure. you're not saying the product then. Eh? So <laughs> careful yeah. on that one. <laughs> no, but as I say, it means that that, that, that product um, has then the ability to have that communication several times. Like you, what I mean is you're getting that juice carton out you know, more times than you're probably getting a bottle of beer out, right? So again, you've got that communication channel several times, perhaps in a day, you know, um, where you're, you're, you're able to really have a consumer interact, scan that QR code. If you, if you scan it once in the morning, once in the afternoon, um, you know, you've got that multiple options. You know, yeah. you don't normally... Uh, finish a bottle of beer uh, sorry not finish the bottle of beer and put it back in the fridge a juice carton you don't normally consume the whole thing in one go um unless you're very addicted to to juice <laughs> yeah. that, that that's also true yeah yeah so it's a it's, it's it's a great way to have multiple multiple touch points i think at, at multiple times of the day yeah and another thing is that um also this experience is going to give the chance to those who are not currently consumers of don simon to yeah. get in and to participate. I mentioned before, it, it, it is a part of a 360 campaign. So there are going to be other channels that the brand is working with that uh, can go, are going to lead to the same platform that mm -hmm. Appetite is uh, uh, building for us. So uh, they can get a part of the experience and not such a small part, I have to say, because we really want to educate as many consumers as possible. And um, um, of course the experience can vary uh, depending whether you enter through um, a digital channel or you enter through scanning a package. Uh, the experience, of course, is different. But, um, and also, as somebody also mentioned before, it doesn't matter even what technologies you, you're using. So um, am I using QR code or data matrix code or NFC? It's a key to opening a whole new world, a digital world. And it's the content that is relevant, that, is, uh, that has to be um, meaningful for the users of that content. And that is our responsibility to make it really um, strong, appealing, and really to the point to, to, to what matters in this case. Definitely. I think that's probably one of the biggest pieces. Once consumer behavior has changed, and we know it's changing, and people do know what QR codes are, um, and certainly are using them more often, they do know what NFC is, maybe not as much as QR, um, but again, they know how to interact with it. The, 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 the worst thing for us to do is then to deliver an experience that perhaps just takes you to the brand's website or to the social media. It, it, it's almost a bit of a slap in the face, really, um, a, as a consumer, because you're quite right. It's about being able to deliver content that's educational, engaging, informational, all those different types of things. Um, like what's in it for me why am i doing yeah. this like i understand you're doing all of those things and good for you tap on the back but what's in it for me and how i can uh, play a, a role in this entire uh, setup and how do we build an ecosystem so for, for me it's a little bit also funny when i use this word ecosystem i like how it's being used in this um, iot world uh, and how actually it comes from sustainability from the environment yeah. yeah, it's actually the same term and it's uh, really nice how it all connects in the connected sustainable world. And um, in this ecosystem is the technology on one hand with all these different layers of IoT 
the packaging, well, the industry together with packaging and the brands, the, the product in it, in it, and all the humans around it. Because in the end, it's all about the humans. Uh, I think that sometimes it's uh, uh, we can get blinded by, by, by so much technology, but uh, then I, I like to always emphasize, but, but why? Why are we doing that? What we're trying to achieve and how it's going to impact people's lives. Definitely, definitely. We, we've talked a lot about the connected packaging part, which of course is what, what, we're, what we're here for, but also super interesting to understand a little bit about um, the, the innovation, why, um, how this is possible, but also what do you think is preventing more brands from doing um, this type of innovation, but also connected packaging? Yeah, sure. So um, the changes in this industry are usually very slow mm -hmm. uh, because uh, they're very industrial. So they, they, they require uh, the changes in technologies, uh, the investment. So they take time and um, also some bravery. Some, uh, somebody needs to be first. And that's why we always um, are very happy to find partners, like in this case, Garcia Carrion, who are really uh, clear about their vision. And then they understand uh, that, yes, there is risk of being first, but there is also uh, a lot of, it's also very rewarding when you, when you really understand uh, what the benefits may be and how, when you share, share the vision. And uh, when it comes to the development itself, so um, Elopac is, uh, has traditionally been, uh, our, our, our brand, Pure Pack has traditionally been uh, related with uh, fresh uh, beverage uh, cartons. Um, for, from the beginning, from when it was first created. Um, so there is a very high expertise in, in that field. And I can say that um, the, the technology and expertise from, from chilled cartons was then extended and, and used um, to, to develop this, uh, this one, this aseptic uh, pure pack uh, uh, without, without aluminum. Another thing that it was required, so it's not only the, the, the cart and not only the, the container, but it is also the technology, the, the filling technology that needed to be, to be changed because uh, now uh, different materials require different um, technology when it comes to sealing, when it comes to forming, etc. And of course, there is always the first prerequisite and that is the, the food safety and food protection. Mm -hmm. So we uh, aimed at uh, achieving the same level of protection, the same performance uh, throughout the value chain and the same experience of the consumer. So you see that even the, the name of the, of the product is slightly different. We have Pure Pack Sense, uh, which is our traditional septic carton with aluminum. And now this one is Pure Pack Essence. Uh, because uh, we are aware that it is the shape that is uh, allowed by consumers. Um, they always choose it uh, uh, for, for the convenience of handling, use, uh, etc. Uh, so uh, now it's okay, the, the same old thing you know, but um, with the improved environmental features. Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, I, I guess it's also something which has, has taken a lot of time um, to work on and, 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 and work through. And now to be able to get the customers or the consumers feedback also will help for, for further development as well, I'm sure. Exactly, exactly. So it's a, it's a never ending process. <laughs> it's alive. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, and, and as I said, the, the speed of change is just getting faster and faster, accelerated, so we need to be ready. That's why it's really uh, important to be out there, to listen, to dare, um, and that is what this uh, technology is also going to, to help us with. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. Yeah. Well, have you um, worked with uh, connected packaging before? Was there, was there a, a, a thought process from a past experience or...? Uh, well, the brand, unfortunately, Alejandro was not uh, able to be uh, live with us today. He would probably be able to, to, to say more, but uh, the brand did have some, some experience. And also the, it helped them get, uh, gather some learnings uh, and, and find out what would be better. Uh, this time, of course, there is a very strong uh, uh, digitalization uh, movement, if I can say, or uh, initiative, not the movement, within Alopac. And we're, um, we're aware that you... In, in the year 2022, you have to be there. You just have to start. So are you going to be perfect and have everything digitalized, connect and so on from day one? No, but it's just important to start rolling, to start moving. And as I said, it is something that um, is alive 
uh, is ever changing. So if uh, there is a mistake to be made, well, better do it sooner than, than later. So I, re I would really recommend to everybody who is into fast moving to, to get connected. Um, and even if it's not with the dynamic codes, even if it's not uh, with the most advanced uh, uh, platform or whatever, it, it doesn't matter. It is still very, very beneficial, especially if there are other physical features, so analog, like in this case, our PurePack essence that you you're take pride in, and go out there and talk about it. Try really to um, make it reach the highest number of people um, and, uh, and and get, get feedback and, and refine what you're working with. No, absolutely. I think Alejandro said earlier in his message to us that um, we can say that packaging is not just a container anymore. It's the opportunity to deliver a really strong message. And that kind of obviously rang in my ears because it's a, it's, it's a great sum up of what um, connected packaging can do. As exactly. you say, all brands should be looking at this. What do you think is uh, holding brands back? What's making brands nervous at the moment? Why, why don't you have 100% of your brands doing connected packaging? Well, as, as I said before, there is uh, certainly always a fear of doing something uh, yeah. new. Uh, then I think that, uh, as, as, as I also mentioned, that there are, mm, the, the changes in this industry are slow. Uh, so, and it really makes sense to, to, to get connected when you really have something new to say, when you're really bringing something uh, relevant, when you're going to make a, a change. But I think that um, it's, um, it's piling up. So it's going to, yeah, I think it'll, it'll, it'll move, move faster. And definitely uh, everybody's seeing that uh, it's, um, it's working. And uh, I, I really, um, it's my, my, my best estimate. So uh, uh, personal opinions, not necessarily those of Allopac, although I think they are. So this is something that we'll be seeing more um, in, in the future. Yeah, well, <laughs> we, we certainly hope so. But and as Alejandro said, future is now, so. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And I think that, you know, everything we've seen across all of the panels today, all of the panels yesterday is, is you know how people are kind of moving and embracing so I, I think you're quite right there um there was another thing um that Alejandro said which is we're not yet at the finish line we need to keep uh pushing the bar what, what's next um if 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 you can tell us uh, or what you can tell us what's next for Elipac and, and Galatea Carrion um in terms of sustainability in terms of innovation um yeah, well, this is a, a I can just uh, confirm what uh, what Alejandro says that um, uh, this is just uh, one step in this um, many kilometers long long journey. Uh, so we have taken some steps, some steps I said uh, before earlier um, together. Uh, the next ones will be well, uh, we we see <laughs> we see what how how this uh, works out. Uh, I am fully confident that. Uh, the, the, the acceptance of the consumers is going to be positive. Um, and then um, uh, we are going to see what other features, um, when, when we reach the necessary readiness, uh, technical readiness, what other feature is going to be uh, ready. As I mentioned in the beginning, it was first one uh, kind of board, then uh, some uh, certification, now this, this removal of, um, of one layer, which is aluminum. So uh, we are working, there are many projects, of course, are confidential, I cannot share right now, but um, there are many initiatives within Alopec that are aimed at um, simplification, aimed at um, in, improving the design for recyclability um, at um, reducing even further uh, the greenhouse gas emissions. So all those uh, different uh, innovations are fully aligned with both our uh, strategy um, that is in the core of what Alapac is, and also the strategy of um, Garcia Carrion, which um, I think Alejandro mentioned in the beginning, which is a three zero, so zero waste. Uh, mm -hmm. zero net emissions, zero uh, water net consumption. So um, I think that it's um, really relevant to, to find those this kind of uh, alignments and to see how the different development initiatives can be integrated in, in all that together and see how they, they can translate into, into that final success. And also um, I can mention that Allopac uh, has um, reviewed, has updated our um, science-based targets um, uh, this year. Uh, and I can say that they are very ambitious. So the first time uh, we published those targets, it was in 2019. 
And uh, now we can see that we should be even more ambitious. So uh, the commitment is that starting as a bench, uh, benchmark of year 2020, to reach a reduction of all the emissions in scope one, two, and three of uh, 90% until uh, 2050 in our uh, efforts to become a net zero company. So I think it's really uh, ambitious and uh, that's the way it should be. Um, it, it ne nobody said it would be easy and it shouldn't be, no. uh, but uh, I think that that's, that's the way to, to follow. And um, this innovation and others that are to come are all aligned and uh, aimed at achieving those goals. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, just, to, just to leave maybe the session and, and the audience with one uh, particular message, you, you've had lots of really good messages, of course, th throughout the session, but if there was one particular thing that you'd really want the audience uh, to take away with them, what would that be? Um, well, maybe just to, to ask themselves what is your role in that as a person and as a consumer so i think that uh, um it's um, uh, sustainability of course is uh, the topic number one it should be um and uh, i think it's very relevant to interiorize it and and uh, bring it from from within and to to always say okay so i see uh, observe watch um, criticize positively or negatively, it doesn't matter. Just, I mean, give feedback, uh, ask for feedback, and also ask yourselves as company members and as people, what have I done uh, to make this world a better place? Really, really nice, really nice thing to end on there. You know, looking looking at ourselves, you know, what, what are we all doing? What are we all doing and, and take responsibility? Thank you so much, Andre. It's been fantastic having you on. Um, you've been able to really talk through a lot of uh, different pieces of information. And uh, of course, I'm very much looking forward to seeing the packs out on shelves um, and getting can't involved wait. in interacting. Thank you. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So stay tuned. <laughs> absolutely. Yes, indeed. That is my message. Stay tuned and see what's new from Don Simon in Spain and Avapac. Perfect looking forward to it well thank you thank you very much andrew and thank you very much to a fantastic audience and all of our panelists today um we've heard from some really great brands we've um, heard from Grana packaging transcend packaging tetra pack ghost straw ab and bev uh ella pack and also of course we had our recording from garcia carrion um, you've all been fantastic panellists. The audience have been fantastic as well. That brings us to the end of the Global Connected Packaging Summit for 2022. I'm very much looking forward already to some of the ideas that we're going to have and what's going to have moved in this fast moving uh, technology space by 2023. We will share all the recordings and we will also share um, recordings, links, QR codes, everything that has been uh, discussed through all of these different sessions. Um, and we would love to hear any questions or feedback from you all as well and how we can make next year's even better. Um, I wish you therefore a very good day. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day and uh, have a really great lunch. Fantastic. Thanks again and see you soon.